Hey guys, how are you? Welcome again to another episode and today we're going to talk about creative video editing ideas that you can apply on your Instagram Reels for your personal brand. And if you want to know more about personal branding and content creation strategy, all you got to do is hit the subscribe button and I'm going to be here every Tuesday. Who am I? My name is Karina Belmonte. I'm a video producer and content creator. And as I said, every Tuesday I talk about content creation strategy and personal branding for creative entrepreneurs and side hustlers that want to take their personal brand to a next level. And as I said last Tuesday, I wanted to start featuring different accounts. So today we're going to feature Monson Media. Thank you so much for your support and to the rest of the community. Thank you. Thank you so much for being right here. Now let's begin. Guys, so today we're talking about creative video editing ideas that you can apply on your Instagram Reels so you can showcase your personal brand in a different way. So why did I decide to share this video editing styles through Instagram Reels? Well, because first, Instagram Reels is a new feature of Instagram. It's fun to use. It's a great new feature to start creating and start expanding your community. Also, because I know that different, uh, different of you have different niches, personal brands and I wanted to share three different styles of editing so you can pick and choose from whichever you prefer. So let's start with the first editing style that I want to share with all of you. And so for this, I have to open the app Premiere Rush which will help me with this idea that I want to share with you. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. I'm going to go to Premiere Rush right now. If you don't have Premiere Rush, so for it has it opens, it allows you, sorry, to use it three times free to export content three times, and then you will have to pay ten dollars a month, which I believe is quite affordable. So let's go to Premiere Rush. As you can see my screen, I'm going to start recording it so you can see it. So I'm going to pick up this project so you can see what I was doing, so you can follow me through. So the first thing you're gonna do is you understand that Instagram Reels is vertical, correct? And when you have content that is horizontal, you will say, okay, but what can I do? How can I work with it? If sometimes when you try to put content that is horizontal into a vertical um, space, it looks a little bit strange. Well, I have something that will help you out. So what you're going to do is, you're going to go to this blue icon and you're going to go to media and you're going to import your horizontal video. After that, you're going to go and click in the media that you just uploaded, imported, and you're going to go and put duplicate. And you're gonna duplicate it two more times. This will help you to cover the complete, the complete um, board of reels. This is showing you that this will look like your reels and where you're gonna export it, it's gonna look exactly like the size of your reels. So what options do you have? You can put from one video to start first and the other two. So it will look very, very cool like it's showing you right now. You can make them that all start at the same time or you can just choose different themes. So this is an idea so you can reuse the content that you filmed horizontally and put it on your reels. This is just an idea that I want to share with you how you can do it very cool, very nice. Also, you can apply this for your YouTube videos that you have recorded in the past. So you have your YouTube videos, they're horizontal, you don't know what to do with them, you don't know how to put them on Instagram Reels. You can do the exact same thing that I'm doing with this content. You go to the blue icon, you import it with media, and you, I'm going to go to another project you're gonna see, and you're gonna see a YouTube video that I recorded in the past and how it looks. So I'm going to move it very slowly and you're gonna see how nice it looks uh, reused content. You see, it looks very nice. So that was style number one that I want to share with you. So style number two is cutting through actions. I do this a lot. I have done this a lot in the past with other reels. So I'm going to show you one of the reels that I already did. So I'm going to go to my Instagram. I'm going to go to my reels. And this one was one that I did last week. So I cut into action. You see, through letters, through movements, I cut into action to explain something about lights. So very simple, very right to the point, but the idea is that I cut through actions, through my movements and through my letters. Okay, let me show you also a video from another creator is this one that I thought it was so nice. So look at it. Okay, 
So you see how the makeup that she's doing in all its reactions, showing the makeup, showing how she does her whole style, and it's very nice, very cool how she does it. So it starts creating, okay. So now I'm going to show you another video. It's not a reel, but it can get you inspired. Okay, it's from another makeup artist. And I believe this type of videos that I'm showing to you of cut to actions are perfect for people that work with products, that work with makeup, that work with food, are great ways to cut into action through this are great ways so let me show you his name is lucas lucas he's from brazil he's showing his products and look how it goes so it's a great way to showcase your product what you do in a creative way this is called cut into action style the last one that i wanted to share with you is that you integrate a picture and a video so you can do it in 50 seconds and it's very fun it's very cool i did it in one of my reels explain a transition from photo to video photo to video and it looks fun dynamic and you can do it i'm going to show you another creator that i saved over here and this is her okay so it's a lot of fun this is great for fashion also for um movement and for people that are in fashion this is great as i was saying okay so i'm gonna click here and look she's talking about how to pose with shorts so you see she showcases and looks that looks here and picture and then picture so what i wanted to show you with this editing styles let me stop here what i wanted to show you with editing styles is that you can get as creative as you can you can share whatever you can and just integrate the three of them if you want to or try them on but it's just start making them start to see if your personal brand can work with any of these video editing styles. They're creative, they're fun. And at the end, you just try them and you'll have a lot of fun doing them. So I divided each of them so you can try them. One can be more for cinematographers and video producers. One can be more for uh, fashionistas and one can be more for the real estate, for people that like to work a lot with food or just for creative entrepreneurs in general. I hope you like this video. If you have any comments, if you want to see anything more from Reels, leave the comments right below. Thank you so much. Let's go to the question. Okay, so the question is, what can else can I do with Instagram Reels besides editing, besides using the fonts, besides using emojis? I would just say, try things. Try, try, try. And thank you so much for joining me on this new video. It was wonderful to talk to you about Instagram Reels. And if you want to know more about personal branding, content creation strategy, and video editing, Hit the link below and you'll receive more information in your journey for personal branding. And if you like this video, give it a like, subscribe, and see you next Tuesday. Don't forget about these two videos that will help you out with Instagram Reels. 